only a slow decay, shite ain't gonna blow up like in your Hollywood blockbusters. Civilization is gonna just slowly fade away. You won't have to take the pickup out to the woods with guns a-blazing. You'll just wither in your apartments. Government healthcare dead panel ain't gonna come for grandma. She'll just lay there out of it for years. The liberals won't get to give over our precious sovereignty to that atheistic, communistic UN before you go. The roads will just slowly get worse and we'll start boiling our drinking water and heating with wood again. The damn vaccinations were just killing off our darling children anyway, so good goodbye to that conspiracy. That whatever electric grid will just slowly shrivel till there's maybe four hour service a day, and then only in town. Time saving Chinese household goods won't be so easy to come by, what with the failing transportation network. You probably won't be going out to eat 10 or 12 times a week anymore as your buying power is slowly ramping down. They'll be wheeling you out of the ER without near as much free treatment as you was used to getting. Hey, there'll still be good old football on the big screen, but you won't be buying no latest Samsung. Relax, it ain't going to be no massive catastrophe change in the entire world like overnight or something. Yeah, your teeth will slowly hurt worse and worse, but you'll stay used to that what with the good old oxy. And the old lady's gross from the tanning booth, they'll just keep getting scabbier, reddier, and uglier. Cataracts will slowly make stuff look dim and blurry, but stronger reading glasses won't help you at all. Meanwhile, your hypertension, atherosclerosis, diabetes, obesity, and COPD will all just silently increase. Corporate <coughs> Corporate will slowly but very surely poison our bountiful soil, even as they destroy its fertility as well. Illiterate illegals and non-English speaking overbreeders will stealthily suck us down into the third world. Relax. It'll be years before your children blame their hopeless situation on your sloth, greed, and ignorance. Yep, you can proudly shout, this here is the, the greatest country on the planet, a USA, a USA, USA, for a while yet. Them black helicopters won't all of a sudden show up over your house late at night, at least not for the time being. Rising sea levels ain't going to take out your dad's condo down in Florida overnight or nothing. Though your taxes will raise up faster than inflation, your entitlements will actually shrivel year after year. Political lies will have to be, keep on getting bigger and bigger to cover the reality gap, but it's a real slow process. We won't be able to afford food inspectors, but hey, industry self-regulation will surely keep us pretty much okay. Them weather and GPS satellites will slowly wink out, but you'll still have cell service for quite a while. Yet, freedom-loving patriots can smile because that job-killing EPA will simply have to be cut year after year. Oh, but you'll hear lots of teeth gnashing over possible smaller increases to our sacred defense budget. Slowly, real slowly, you lose your ATVs, jet skis, snow machines, dirt bikes, and giant pickups to the creditors. No worries yet. It'll be a while before it hurts just to get out of bed even after a rare good night's sleep. They'll keep the family in burger for a year by using formerly non-edible portions of cow carcasses. Your Medicare ain't going to be canceled tomorrow, but one day you won't find no doctors who'll take it. You can keep on fighting that climate change by twisting your coal fire fire thermostat for years to come. And yep, we'll still have more nukes, landmines, and chemical weapons than all of them foreign heathens together. Them toxic wastes ain't going to kill us off, even though they will keep on slowly building up inside us. But one thing that ain't never going to change is your faith and trust in the absolute truth of that good book of God.